Everyone can hear? Yeah, good. Okay. I'm going to step back a little bit. Let's start with the warm up. Smoothing our body. We're going to do the CrossFit training again today that we did the other day. So we'll see how you go on the second time around. Now your body knows what's going to happen. You probably work a little bit harder today on it. Do some old folds. Get ourselves nice and warmed up. Good. Uh, the knee highs. It's quite a cold day here today, so it's just good to get our body moving a little bit more. Okay, and we'll stretch through the quads. And then to the other side. And taking our feet out nice and wide. And just bring your hands down on your left leg. All the way down, get a nice stretch down to the bottom. Feel that nice stretch up the back of your legs. And then walk your hands around to the right leg. And same down there, give that a nice stretch. And then bring your hands either to your shins or your ankles and we'll go from side to side, having your chest up nice and tall. Just giving the inner thigh a little bit of a stretch. And a little bit more shoulders. And bring your, lifting up your right elbow. And use your left hand just bring it across your body, stretch through the shoulder blades, and then the other side. Oh, a couple of stretches through the side. So on our workout, we're going to do 45 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest for 13 different exercises. So in the 20 seconds, I'll show you what the um, what the next exercise is. So we're going to start with shovel run. So just have a bit of space there around you. If you don't have space and you can't run from side to side, you can do knees up. Okay. So let's give that a try. Let's get out the bottom of Okay. Is everybody ready? Okay, let's go. Coming down, touching the ground, press the rope to the other side. Then you want to nicely warm up. Nearly there, let's finish it up. Okay. Right, yeah, good work. Take a few deep breaths. We've got 20 seconds of rest. The next one we're going to do is a star jump. So you just do it like that. Or if you want to take the impact out, just go step out, step out. Okay. We want to do a combination of both. Okay, let's go. Good job, everyone's doing the high intensity version. These are harder than they look. Twenty seconds to go. Let's keep it strong. Don't take long to warm up. Thank 
Finish it off. Good job. Okay, 20 seconds rest. The next one we're going to do is lunges. So we're going to have our feet on like train tracks so they're wide apart. Stepping forward and lunging down to 45 degrees on both sides. I'll just show you the side version. Like that. Okay, let's go. So stepping forward with one leg, step back, and then go to the other side. Keeping it nice and tidy. Keep your chest up. Take your time, build with your breath. Focusing on the balance so your hips stay nice and stable. Good work. Okay. The next one is a mountain climber. So you can do it on a chair like this if you want to, or you can do it down on the mat. The mat's going to be a little harder. So you choose which one you want to do. It's easier if you have your feet just off the mat. Keep it nice and strong. Okay, good work. That one's quite hard. The next one is an inchworm. So we're going to breathe in, bring your arms all the way up, fold forward, walk our hands out to a plank, and then walk our hands back in again and back up. If you want to do an easier version, you can go down to your knees. So just knees us to there. And then come back up that way. It's your choice. Or you can do one at each. Eight seconds to go. Well done. Okay, next one is a side twist. So you're going to go down into the plank position. Have your feet nice and wide. Bring your hand towards the middle of the mat. Lift up with your hand, follow your eyes up to the ceiling, and then go to the other side. Okay, just come and have a look at these. Good work. If you want to modify it, you can do it from your knees. But um, saying your toes is a great work for the back and the core. Deep breathing. Good work. Okay. 20 seconds rest. And the next one is knees up. So I'll let you know when we're ready for that. Getting the heart rate up already. Now you're going okay? Good. Okay, let's go knees up. Starting to sweat a little bit. 
it's good. Keep it strong, finish it off. So working upper and lower abs on this one. It's a nice stable back. Good work. Okay, have a little rest. You might want to hug your knees up to your chest. The next one we're going to do is flutter kick. So staying in the lady down position, put your hands underneath your bottom, bring your legs out in front, and we're going to flutter them. The lower you go, the harder it is. So you choose how you want to do it. Okay, so let's go. Making sure your lower back's nice and flat on the ground with your hands just underneath your buttocks, giving you a little bit of support through your lower back. It's good. It's deep breathing. You got this. Three, two, and one. Excellent job. Okay, next one back up on our feet. We're doing bicep curls. So grab your weights. Okay, feet nice, shoulder width apart, soft knees. Breathing out as you bring the weights up, two chest. Nice and stable. Breathing out as you bring the weights up. And bring your Core nice and strong. Good work, everyone. Deep breathing. We've got two more exercises to go after the sun for our first round. Good. Excellent work. Pop your weights down and find a position for some tricep dips. We're going to use a chair. So, using a chair or a ledge, or you can go down on the ground as well if you want to. Okay, so let's get going. Elbows pointing backwards, chest up, and keep your body really close to the chair so that you don't put any pressure on your shoulders on the rotator cuffs. The further you take your feet out, the harder it is, so you choose. But we're going to go for 45 seconds, so maybe closer is better for today. We've got 15 seconds to go. If there's elbows pointing backwards, finish it off and you're done. Excellent work. Okay, next one, last one is the cable row. So getting your stretchy bands, hopefully they're in place.
got five seconds to go. So take your dominant foot back and squeeze in between your shoulder blades. That's it. It's nice and slow with the breath again. Chest up nice and tall. Deep breathing. We've got 15 seconds to go. Really squeeze the upper part of the shoulder blades. Good job. Okay, so that's round one. I'll just have a talk with everybody, see how that went. Okay, how's everybody feeling? I'm oh, tired. I'm tired. Yeah. It's pretty, too. It's pretty it's hard. hard. I just done my cleaning for the day, for the week. I'm exhausted. <laughs> well, have, a, have a good drink. We'll give about a minute's rest and then um, we'll do the second set. Yeah. Okay. Put you all on mute again. Yeah. Right. Okay, so getting back into position. We start off with shuttle runs again. Okay. Right, yeah, getting ready to start. Okay, let's go. And remembering if you don't have the room, you can do some knees up. Ten seconds to go. Okay, have a rest. Twenty seconds rest. Woo. Next one is star jumps. Or if you want to take low impact, you can just step. It's up to you. Okay, let's go. Deep breathing, finishing it up. Nice work, everyone. Lots of arms flapping, it's all good. Okay, we're done on that, good job. Okay, next one is the lunges. We're getting into position for that one. Feet about shoulder width apart. Imagine you're Feet on train track so you're nice and stable. And we're going to step forward not too far, using our, our hips and our chest nice and square, going from side to side, taking our knees down to a right angle, not too low. If this is irritating your knees at all, you can do a squat if you like. Let's take it nice and gentle. Keep your chest up. Deep breathing. Just keeping the form nice and tidy, nice and controlled. 
Good job. Okay, you done on that one? The next one is the mountain climbers. I might do it on the chair this time. So it's your choice, chair, or onto the mat. Okay, let's go. We're deep breathing. Keeping it nice and strong. Fifteen seconds to go. Just up and gaze forward if you're on the chair. Well done. Excellent work. Get your breath back. Next one is inchworms. You're standing at the back of your mat. Okay, stretching up. Rolling forward, walking your hands to the top of the mat, to a plank, and then coming back. So your own time, just keep it nice and tidy. You can bring your knees to the ground if you like. Ten seconds to go. Good job. Woo! Definitely hard. Okay, next one is the side twist. I'll just show you a different angle this time. I think you can about to see. So coming back down onto your mat. With your feet wide, at least mat with the wide. Bring your hands towards the center of the mat and reach the breath. Looking up towards your hand as you lift it up and then go to the other side. Keeping it nice and controlled and deep breathing. You can go to your knee if you prefer, not quite so intense. So the position will be like doing a plank on your knees. Following that hand up with your eyes. Well done. Okay. Coming up onto your feet again. This one's knee height. Woo, getting a little bit of rest here. Okay. Deep breathing, keeping it nice and strong. I'm sweating a bit now, like I am. Good job. Okay. Good work. Okay, now we're going back down to the mat. We're doing shoulder taps. We forgot to do them in the first round. So basically you're in a plank position and you're coming up tapping shoulder by shoulder. Just show you that one. Coming into this position, tap and tap. You can do it on your knees if you want to. Just holding the plank and tapping your shoulders. Having your hands not too far forward.
Again, and tight. If you go to your knees, and finish it off. Work. And then to child pose, stretch it out. And then coming on to back. We're going to do bicycle crunches next. Okay, let's go. Nice and strong, we're working upper and lower abs on this one. Behind your head, so you don't put any sweat on your neck. And legs to put your knees up to the chest. Next one is flutter kicks, so staying in the laying down position. Lifting your hips up and placing your hands underneath your hips so your back is nice and slow and down. Okay, let's go. So bring our legs forward and fluttering them. Good, good job. Put your head down on the mat on this one. And remember, the lower you go, the higher it is. Do something that's sustainable for you for 45 seconds. This is working your lower abs. And this one's quite tough. Let's try and finish it off. Work and hug that one up. Good. Coming back up. We're doing bicep curls next. Getting the right weights ready. Nice up knees. Okay, let's go. Moving out as you clean them up. Keeping the core nice and strong. So your body's quite still, all the way to coming in the biceps. Nice work. Good job, everyone. Finishing it off, we're getting heavy, and we're done. Good job. Up the weights down. This one is tricep dips. Chair across. Getting ready. Chest up nice and tall. Hands beside you. Right next to your hips. Okay. Okay, let's go. So keeping your body nice and close to the chair. Nice and slow. Elbows pointing backwards. Nice work. Keep breathing. Finish it off. Okay, we're done. Excellent work. Give your arms a little shake. The next one is table. Chair. Get ready with the table. Bring your dominant leg back. Just up nice and tall. And squeezing the top of the shoulder blades.
Good job, that's it to you. Ah, see how everyone's going. Okay, how's everyone going? Exhausted. Exhausted. <laughs> I'm um, sweating. Would you like to do five more of your favorite ones or we, shall we do some stretching and roller work? Um, five more. Five more? For me. Okay. All right. Five more Okay, so grab a drink and I'll just we'll set up. So here's what I do you wanna tell me which one's your favorite ones? One you can pick one each. The cable row. Cable row, okay. Um you ready? lying down the bicycle, like the lying down. Oh yeah, the bicycle one. Yep. Punches. What about you, Elsa? What's your favorite one? Mountain climb. Mountain, Mountain climber. Oh. Wow. Tough <laughs> Okay. What about you, Gilda? What's your favorite? I did say the, the cable roll. Oh, cable roll. That's right. Bike, bike crunches, mountains. Uh, Is Debbie there? I tried for the cable roll because I haven't got anywhere I can put my cable. Oh, right. <laughs> so you have to do school like that. No, no, I, I have a cable. I mean, I have the cable, so I go outside where the, I can put Oh, it. right. Okay. I might choose side twists. So that's four. And one of you can oh, choose another one. a hard one. Biceps. Biceps. Okay. Right, yeah. So we'll do those five, and then we'll do stretches and things. Grab a quick drink. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Okay, so we've got five to do. So pick, pick. We will start from the top. So the first one is the mountain climbers, courtesy of Elsa. So you can do these on the mat or on the, on the back of the chair, whichever. And you might do them on the mat this time. Okay, ready, let's go. Nice and light with your feet. Finish it off, keep it strong. Oh, they're tough. Thanks, Elsa. That one's a tough one. Okay, next one. Side twist. So these are mine. These are tough too. Ten more seconds rest. Coming down onto the mat. So you can do these on your knees or your toes. See on these knees this time. Lift me up. Inhaling this will be your arm up. Taking big, deep breaths. Following your hand up with your gaze to get a nice twist. And give that a little rinse out. Mr. Child. Okay. The next one is biceps. Wow. 
Job. Okay, pop your weights down. Bicycle crutches are next. So coming down onto your mat. Fingertips resting behind your neck. Exhaling as you bring your alternate elbow to knee. Good job, Judy. You can see your feet off the ground and ground the hard way. Deep breathing, keeping it. Strong to finish. Good job. And hug your knees up to your chest. Rinse that out a little bit. And next time we're going to hop back up again and then do the table row. And Elsa, you can bring your. Oh, you're going outside to do it. That's right. So, dominant foot back, chest up nice and tall. And exhaling. As you squeeze it back. Five seconds to go. Good work. So that was two and a half sessions. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me now? We're going to do some stretches next. Yeah. Um, does everybody have a roller there or not? Yes. Yep. Okay. So we might do some roller work as well. And in terms of the stretches, does anybody have any particular parts that they'd like to focus on? Yeah, any? my ITV bands. ITV, okay. And what about you, Judy? Any? IT and the glute, like there. Oh, glute. Yeah, okay. Okay. And um, Elsa's gone to get her roller. So I'll just go grab my roller. Okay. I see Elsa. Oh, Elsa, I was just asking the Deb and uh, sorry, Judy and Judy whether they had any tight bits. We're going to focus on ITBs and glutes. Have you got any tight parts? Yes, my back, my lower back, that's all. Lower back, okay, all right. Okay, so you got your, everyone got a roller there? Yes. yes. Okay, I'll put you on mute and we'll do that. Okay. Radio. Let's start by sitting on the roller. Okay, so this is going to stretch our glutes. So I want you to put your left hand behind you and lean across to the left side a little bit and roll it backwards and forwards 
and you should be able to feel something that feels like a little tennis ball. That's your glue. So we're going to roll backwards and forwards on that, and that's going to help to release it. And that will also help to release your lower back. So we hopefully will be helping Judy and Elsa this one. So just rolling backwards and forwards. You can start to go a little higher if you want. If you find that it's you've got a bit of tension above the boot as well, you can go a little higher. If it's a little painful, that's fine. Just keep going backwards and forwards. Just what we're trying to do is release it because it gets tight and it pulls on the lower back. Okay, then we might go to the other side. So sitting square again, put the other hand behind you and lean over to that side and rolling backwards and forwards. So you feel that muscle, the glute muscle that feels like a squash ball. You might find it's a little bit tight there. That means that we've got something to work on here. So using the roller is really good because it helps to release the muscles. And um, it's a good thing to do if you do feel any tightness. As we get colder weather now, I think everybody's feeling a little tighter. So this helps to warm it up and helps to stretch it out. Okay, and then you might need to adjust yourself. If I do come back, and we'll go back to the first side again. Just do both sides again. So back to the first side. So you're just leaning over a little bit, having that hand behind you, rolling backwards and forwards on that boot area. And then switch to the other side. It's good at the end of your workout to do a little bit of roll work for your body to warm, if you think about it, or if you're finding that you are stiff. You could do it after you have a shower with your mask up to the Okay, so that one. The next one we're going to do, Jilda said that she had a tight ITV. So this one here. What we're going to do is we're going to move the roller. So we're going to roll between hip and knee on the outside of our leg. So we have to get in a bit of an awkward position. So we have to get over onto the side and have the roller underneath the outside of the leg. So I'm on my right side at the moment and I'm going to take my left leg over the top, put my right hand behind supporting me and my left hand um, with the, next to the right hand. So what we're trying to do here is roll the leg up and down that outside. It's a little bit awkward. Hopefully you'll be able to manage it. If it's a bit tight, putting a lot of a fair bit of weight will maybe a little painful. This muscle, this ITV muscle, when it gets tight, it pulls on your knee and your hip, it causes some irritation. That's it. We'll go one more on that side and then we'll change over to the side. So if you found that was a bit painful, Possibly because yours is tight. So we go to the other side now. So I'm now on my left side. So I'm on this, I have it underneath the outside of my left leg. I'm going to take my right leg over the top to help me with stability. Um, right hand behind and left hand just this side. And we're going up and down. So we're going, if we can, all the way down towards the knee and up towards the hip. Couple more. Mine's a little tight. You're probably finding yours are a little tight. The more you do this, the more supple they'll be. If it's really tight, you might consider even getting a massage. Okay, next one. You're going to do your half muscles. So sitting with the bottom on the ground and put the roller behind your calf and bring your hands beside you, like what you would have done in the triceps. And we're going to lift your bottom off the ground and roll it backwards and forwards. Hold the length of your heart muscle. So if you, and you can actually move your toes, point your toes out to the sides to get the outside of the calf muscles and then point your toes like pigeon toe and you get the inside. 
This one here requires a bit of shoulder strength. It's a bit crunchy, but it's tight. Okay, so we're going to do is our quads. So we have to go into a position where we're starting off in a kneeling position, coming towards the back of the mat. Bring the roller in front of your knees and then lay over the top of it, hands out the front, and you're going to pull yourself backwards and forwards over it. This will loosen up any tightness you have in your quads. Actually, pretty good. Okay. When you finish with that one, we're going to do a little bit of back and shoulders and then neck. So we're going to start off with the roll up. Um, along your back and I want you to sit right at the end of it. Hopefully you've got a roller that's strong enough to be able to do this. So sit right down the end and I want you to gently lower your spine so it's along where the roller is. So your body's nice and straight. Getting into a nice stable position using your hips and your feet to stabilize you. And I want you to inhale and bring your arms all the way up and to the floor behind your head. And then exhale, bring your arms back down. Taking 10 deep breaths doing this. So nice and slow. You can soften your eyes if you like. This is quite meditative. It's a nice relaxing thing to do. But what we're doing is working on opening up our chest. Let's get our chest and our back gets very tight. If we're doing a lot of computer work or if our posture's poor, we can do a lot of driving. Or if we find that we're a little bit anxious or stressed, a lot of people hold that in their shoulders and neck and it ends up if we don't do something about it and that would be great. Let's go four more. Breathing in as you come up. And breathing out. Quite a nice mindful thing to do, mindful meditation. And okay, one more. Good. And then gently rolling off to the side. And we're going to change the position of the roller so it's going across the mat now. And then gently bring your back down to it and bending your knees with your feet on the mat giving yourself enough room. And what we're going to do is fold our hands across our chest. We're going to lift our bottom up off the mat and we're going to roll the length of our rib cage. So we're going almost right up to the top of the shoulders and just down to where the ribs finish. Don't go beyond that because it's a bit uncomfortable. As you do this one, you might feel a little bit of creeping in the top of your shoulders. That's helping you to get some of that tense muscles Loosen for you. Just be careful if you've got a necklace on or something like that. You don't run over it. Good. And then on the next one, come down and have your back on the ground and your bottom on the ground and the roll behind your neck. Keep your hands on your shoulder and I want you to roll your shoulders and neck from side to side. So you're giving your neck a nice release as well. That's it. So that will do us for the roller for today. What we might do is a few other little stretches for your lower back. So what we're going to do is bending our knees and hug them up to our chest. And just do some little circles on your lower back. And then we're going to take our elbows, our arms out to the side, either straight out or like practice arms. Keeping your feet off the ground if you can. 
you get this comfortable, you can not put them on the ground. And I want you to roll your knees towards the right side, but to the left. And stay here for two breaths. Feeling that nice stretch through your back. And then inhale, bear back to the middle and take it to the other side. So that you can get some loose left and looking right. You can feel left just open up the room. It's a little bit confined here. Good. And then the next one, we're going to bring our left leg up across our right leg. And we're going to hug that leg towards our chest. So we'll exhale as we hug it in, inhale as we let it go out. A couple of those feeling that stretch through the ITV and the boot. Then we're going to put our left hand on our right knee and our left sorry, our right hand on our left knee. Bring your foot down, your right foot to the floor. And I want you to draw that knee across to your right side, but I want you to look to the left side. Let that collapse down to the ground. And give it a nice couple of breaths here. Should be feeling a nice stretch through the eye to be the ball and down the left side. So you're getting a nice massage through that ball on the left side. One more deep breath here. And then inhale as you bring your knees back to the center and uncross them and put the other leg across. So right leg across the left leg. And I want you to exhale as you put that knee towards your chest and inhale as you let it fall away. This time we're going to put our left hand on our right knee, our right hand out to the side. And let that draw that knee across to the left side, looking to your right, and let that collapse down onto the ground. So you can do this. Really deep stretch on the other side. One more deep breath. And then we inhale, bring it back to the center. Hug that up. So a couple more little ones that I've got for lower back that might help Elsa. So lay down on the mat with your tummy down into a skins pose. So you've got your elbows underneath where your shoulders are. And you're going to inhale. And I want you to lift your chest up and you can squeeze your bottom and lift your feet up as well. Getting a little bit of compression in the lower back of this one. So squeezing. To a couple more rolls. And then bending your legs and bringing your head down to the mat. Just letting your legs fall from side to side. Just a little bit of loosening through that lower back area. And then coming up onto all fours. And Exhaling into a child's pose. So you bring your, butt, your buttocks down to your heels and letting your hands walk forward. And you stay here for about three breaths. And when you're ready, come back onto all fours, tucking your toes under, and push up into a down dog. And walking your heels down towards the back. Just giving the legs and the calves a nice stretch. Go back and nice stretch and up back. And then walk your feet out a little wider than the mat. And walk your hands up. And stay in a forward fold here. For a couple of breaths. Let your head hang down nice and low. Let your chest be heavy. A couple of breaths here. And then Inhale, come all the way back up again. Bring your feet together, give your body a shake. Okay, excellent work, everybody. Thank you for staying.